welcome to another vlog of commentator kaku in this vlog we are going to see our seniors convocation ori voyer 2022 now this is not going to be a vlog as such this is going to be a vlog plus story time and the reason for this is that i actually couldn't vlog the pressure at that moment the workload on me during the convocation was so much that i just forgot to take out my camera and the, the moment demanded it so I couldn't help it so to compensate for that I'll be telling what had happened and you'll have to imagine it so I was a part of the digital team for this convocation so our job was to handle basically anything related with tech from PPTs and posters to excel files and uh, sorting out names according to groups to making the PPTs which would be running on the LEDs during the convocation our job expanded a lot and uh, also we had to manage some audios, some videos which are going to be played. I mean, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot. So to make this convocation happen, there were a lot of other teams other than our tech team. There was an off-stage management, there was on-stage management, there was food on the other side, there were people who were managing the um, events which are going to happen. There was a lot going on. But as a part of the digital desk, I will narrate my experience to you of how we made the convocation possible and not what the convocation was. So to get straight off at what we were supposed to do, our main objective was to basically get something on the screen, uh, just a perspective of what was going to happen. The only thing which we had been told at that moment was that we had to settle for something of a golden frame, a golden yellow, white, golden theme and uh, to keep it formal and on that i started my work so here is a eight or seven layer moving uh, background which i thought we'd be making for the convocation where our call is in the background and it, there's a nice uh, color gradient to it so i thought uh, of putting it into the ppt and i already started working on it but even before i was close to finishing that job a new job came of sorting an excel file filled with the names of seniors, the parents, uh, what the food they were going to eat according to the group in which they were doing internship and that was a bit hectic but okay that's the job I was assigned for and I continued on. Also when you have music playing in the background, every job seems much less boring. So currently I have been successful in arranging the entire name list of uh, those Indian doctors who are going to be convocated this time into groups that they were in internships and now I've said it to my seniors. So in the, in the meantime I'll be working on sample and then sending them the sample uh, which they are going to work in the same format and hopefully we'll have everything very uniform. It uh, wouldn't be that kind of a kitchen something. So, Let's see uh, how it goes. So this video was shot around 3.30 p.m. And I had the sample ready by almost 7 p.m. And we had unanimously agreed that this was going to work. So we had already started working upon the PPTs. We had started making a lot of slides. So basically the group division was such that we had six groups in internship. Group A through F. Ritu Priya was assigned group A and B. I was assigned group C and D. Shubham was assigned group E and F. Now, three of us had already started making the slides in full force from around 7 p.m. Now, bad news struck when we were called by our seniors at 11 p.m. and we were told that that sample wouldn't work. That was uh, looking very like uh, catchy and all and they wanted the function to be a bit more formal and to go for a white golden theme only. As you can, as you've already seen probably that that was around bluish golden so that wasn't exactly fitting the theme so at 11 p.m. two days before the function we changed the theme altogether but another problem stuck. Shubham had to wake up early in the morning next day to go to the municipality to arrange for the water tankers and Ritu Priya also had, to, had some other tasks so I was there alone at 11 o'clock in the night deciding what I had to do next I had just one night to complete all of the PPTs so many intern doctors each of them have around three to four slides many seven to eight pictures and I was alone 
or was I? In this desperate situation, where help was required, came forward a few juniors. And without their help, I can guarantee that we wouldn't have been able to get this convocation down on time. There was no way the PPTs were going to be solved. So a huge shout out to the juniors. So we started working at around 12 midnight and it continued on till almost 4 a.m. in the night. So other than these four first year medicals who were working from the boys hostel, Drishti Sen and Srijoni Dash who were working from the girls hostel, while Oyan Shorkar was back in his home some 20 kilometers away and he was working from there. Yes, work from home. The pandemic taught us a lot of things, <laughs> I must say. And during this 4 hour ordeal which we had from 12 a.m. midnight to 4 a.m. in the morning, all of us were in constant touch with each other. Every small hook and crook, anything was missing, uh, some pictures weren't there, uh, some slides weren't getting corrected, some frames were shifted around, every little thing we were in contact. So during all this time, I had to teach them how to make those PPTs, correct them when they were making mistakes, find when there were no pictures and a lot more. But one thing needs to be remembered that the hard work, the majority of the hard work was done by these guys only. I was just there to supervise. So after four hours of restless efforts, we finally had the PPDs ready. No, we didn't because life isn't that simple. We were supposed to be given all the pictures which we were supposed to put in the slides. Our job was not curating the pictures. Our job was to put them in the slides. But the problem is we didn't have many pictures. So at 3 a.m. in the night, I was stalking the profiles of our intern doctors to find anything which I could. See Kolkata police. I know it's wrong, but I couldn't help. That's the only thing which I had. Because at the end of the day, you have to put something into the PPT. Something should go on the screen. It shouldn't be left blank. So that's the only option which I had. So at 3 a.m. in the night, I did the best stalking which I could in my life. And I'm not even sorry for that. But even after that, we still had many, many slides which were to be filled. I think it was around um, 12, 13 uh, doctors who didn't uh, give them uh, photos. So it averaged to around 70 to 80 slides, which was still left to be made in a single day, along with some other work, which generally comes at the last moment. So the same day, after three hours sleep, attending classes and a two hours sleep, I was back at the intern hostel, making the oath of Hippocrates and animating it for the convocation. So after putting together a lot of slides, working a few more hours and doing much more, which I cannot recall at this moment because that moment the workload was so high, I finally went to the auditorium at around 9 p.m. to check whether everything was all right. I went, went to check for the sound system, the LEDs, but the LEDs did not come, so I had to work with the sound system and see if everything was all right. Here what you can see is the mixer rack. Hello, new guest. Uh, this is complete with the equalizer, compressor, whatever you require for sound management, several tracks. This is from where the light is controlled. These are the audio racks on which the audio interfaces are kept. Uh, the auditorium looks nice. This is how the auditorium looks outside, just a night before the convocation. So after this, we went back to the hostel, only to be called back at around 2 a.m. in the night to check if everything was working all right on the LEDs, the sound system, basically whether the PPTs were working fine and we wouldn't do something wrong on the final day. So we went to the auditorium at 2 a.m. only to find that the LED guy had gone off to sleep. So at 2 a.m. in the night, we go back to our hostels, having this thing in our mind, that the next day is the convocation and our rehearsal would also be our final act. We do not have any chance of error in that. Because this is the question of something for which they have worked for five and a half years and this is going to be something which they're going to cherish for the rest of the life they're going to have only one convocation in life and you do not have any chance of making an error and you also
to not have any rehearsal so you have to be pinpoint perfect in whatever you are doing but at that moment we do not even know whether the laptop would be projected on the screen and how to project the screen i have never done it before in my entire life this is the first time i'm doing it so yes the nerves were uh, getting a bit um, cold and if that was not enough to build pressure on our head we still had many seniors who still did not send their pictures so that was also to be done at the last moment and also the next morning i wake up and i get to know a few more other things that is we have to make a word file in on which there will be uh, written teachers 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 or professors professors professor volunteers alumni and all we have to make that document which they're going to print and then they're going to stick it on the chairs for which uh, which would be demarcated for the professors and alumni of course along with that we will have to collect drone shots of a college and then make it into the presentation because that would be playing for around the first 50 to 20 seconds of the inauguration speech and that was being told to us at the last moment along with that we had to arrange for a flickering dr video for the lighting of the lamp the thing is not that this job is very difficult the thing is that all of this is being told to me simultaneously just one hour before the convocation is going to start and that is what builds the pressure so finally I reached the auditorium after rushing up with the work and finishing it. There is from where the audio would be controlled, here is from where the screens would be controlled, basically the uh, video. Here you can see that I am downloading that um, flickering dia which I said about earlier. Here is from where the sound would be controlled, this is basically another audio console uh, and much better of course. So you can see the different screens and the laptops from which they are being controlled. That is the mixer rack which I was talking about. Uh, this is fired up right now. And this is another mixer rack which is at the posterior most part of the auditorium. And right now the sound testing is going on for the inaugural song. They are testing the different equipments uh, and whether the EQing is correct. After sound testing happened, it was time for the show to begin. This was followed by the inaugural dance, lighting of the lamps, some speeches and then finally the main event of the day that is handing over the degrees, the convocation. But you might think why is there a blank screen staring at you or you are staring at a blank screen. The reason is that I do not have any video of all of these things because I was pretty busy at that time. I was switching between the two audio workstations that you have seen and the slides and among the slide part my laptop just stopped working for a few seconds while the convocation was going on. To complement to the pressure on my head at the moment, the anchors were being told to hurry up and as a result of which they were jumbling up the order of names, which meant that I had to live search the names of the doctors while their convocation was going on. And that was pretty hectic. I had to keep in mind that this name went out, this name was coming in, this name was left behind, so I had to revert back to that name and when the name was being called I had to go back and then I had to also remember, for, remember from where I went back because the next name was going to be called back some names ahead so this switching I had to do live but this was the bad part this was the part in which uh, my mind was completely just blown off I was completely busy but let me show you the part where I was completely chill and the fun part so after five and a half years of sleepless efforts tiring duties and some thousand kilograms of books this is the one moment it all came to. This was followed up in the night by the performance of the band M Sonic, Zephy Tone and DJ Aziz one after the another. I have spoken a lot for this video, I leave the rest of it for you and as always keep commenting.